the submission felt around the world. Khabib throws a one-two, which brings him close enough to shoot a double leg. Connor instantly digs an underhook on the right side, which is one of the most effective defenses for a double leg as it separates your opponent from your leg and a wizard on the other side to prevent Khabib from taking his back. Khabib pushes him to defense. That was one of Khabib's greatest weapons. His ability to use defense to help take you down was unrivaled. It's really hard to finish a leg takedown through an underhook, and so Khabib switches to a single leg on the overhook side. He lifts the leg and uses his foot to block Connor's, causing him to fall. As soon as they land, Khabib gets on his feet and starts driving all of his weight into Connor. He also grabs the knee to prevent Connor from moving away and eventually use that hand to wrap a body lock. It's incredible to see how the best grapplers use every body part simultaneously to control their opponent. Khabib has Connor's leg wrapped up so he can't get a guard or stand up, while using his head to pin Connor against the fence while leaning into him, making him carry all of his body weight. Incredible. Connor does a good job here preventing Khabib from punching him in this position, a favorite Khabib tactic, by holding his arm. Connor made a critical mistake here and let go of the wizard. While he probably did it because he thought it would help him stand up, it cost him dearly as he gave up his back, one of Khabib's best positions. Even though he was able to get onto all fours here, because Khabib has his back, he was able to weigh on him and drag him back down. Khabib went for a risky back attack here, an Alejandre Pantoja favorite, and pulled Connor on top of him and then tried to get his hooks. He almost ended up on bottom because Connor was able to move enough to avoid having both hooks put in. A huge factor in Khabib's favor was Connor clearly being too tired to scramble as hard as he would have needed to to get on top. We can see here Khabib also kept an arm framing on Connor's face, making it even harder to get up. Khabib does a great job of coming up into mount. Again, notice the immediate head pressure. Khabib keeps his legs tight, creating a nasty mount, which he's taught in the past. Khabib does a great job of keeping Connor's arms up high, keeping Connor really uncomfortable and almost at an arm triangle, but Connor managed to squeeze in his other arm, which, while obviously not an ideal position, allowed him to get rid of the immediate threat of submission, which is more important than whatever position you're in. Khabib is happy to stay in three-quarter mount while keeping all of his weight on Connor, draining him while he waits for his next move. Connor manages to buck and hip escape, but unfortunately for him, ends up in one of the nastiest spots I've seen. Khabib is past the knees while not quite mounted. He's keeping his weight on Connor's upper legs and stomach, which stops him from moving his legs and hips. He also keeps an arm on Connor's back to prevent him from moving his upper body away, meaning Connor is paralyzed while holding all of Khabib's weight while Khabib is smashing his face in with his free hand. Absolutely brutal. Khabib keeps him here for about 20 seconds before moving up to full mount. As soon as he does, Connor desperately bridges, but Khabib is ready for it and Connor exposes his back. He clearly hesitates, debating if he should give up his back or go back to having all of Khabib's weight on him and chooses the easier option. Khabib already had one hook when Connor first bridged, and it's hard to see, but Khabib brought his other leg under Connor when he first bridged, meaning as soon as Connor fully turned over, Khabib had the second hook. Khabib instantly shoots his hand through, and Connor, for some reason, rather than hand fight, moves to the cage, essentially giving Khabib enough time to get a free choke. By the time they get there, Khabib is already locking his hands. In the words of Joe Rogan, That is what's called a fulcrum choke. Your fucking head is just like, it's way tighter than it looks, both in terms of crank and choke, and Connor is forced to tap, leading to a historic submission and a legendary brawl. 